Hey guys, it's Thursday, and I bring you to my bedroom on Valentine's Day. <laughs> anyway, um, so, uh, this week's topic is consent. Um, I think Stephanie did a wonderful job on her video. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out right now, but then come back and finish watching mine, or else. Um, Stephanie really did a good job on a lot of things covered so much stuff, I don't really know what to cover on that. But I think I should be able to talk about my own experiences. And when it came to consent, um, when I first came out, uh, I was very like, oh wow, the gay world, it's so wonderful, it's so magical, drag queens, oh my gosh, it's so much fun, let's just go wild and crazy. Um, it was not until the moment that I didn't consent to something that it became serious for me. Um, it became a very serious thing for me. Uh, I uh, was kind of dating someone, kind of. Uh, I was interested in them, but I didn't want to move that fast, and um, they did apparently. And I started to consent, and as Stephanie said, there's sometimes, sometimes you might be either under in influence or it just might be in the heat of the moment. And if that person all of a sudden pulls away and says no, you should respect that. Um, this person didn't. And I pulled away and I said no. And they continued. Um, and it's something that I don't like to usually talk about. Uh, it is kind of uncomfortable, but I talk about it because I want to let you all know that even though I've had those kind of moments, um, that, that kind of moment, it didn't change. The only thing that changed me was it made me a stronger person. It didn't change my everyday life, it didn't change anything about me um, uh, or how I run, but there are some people that let it control their lives. I have a close friend who it's hard now for her to be intimate with others because of a bad moment where she didn't consent to something and she was held up. Um, I know this is kind of very serious for a Thursday, but it's not a Friday. Um, so always be careful and always you know if you have to be forceful to say no that's very easy you just get up and walk away you just go um, and I should have done that so but I learned from my mistakes and that moment in that time period when that moment comes around again and you don't want to consent to anything and you say no and you have the power oh, it's such an amazing feeling so always remember that you have the power and you can do that. I don't really have that much more to talk about this week. Um, I hope you all had a pretty good Valentine's Day. Um, and for those ones that are single, just like me, I hope you enjoyed the day. And don't just think Valentine's Day is just for the lovers, um, but is also for the ones for us to love our family members and our friends, the ones that are close to us, the ones that we do love. And remember, if you have five close friends that you can count on your fingers, that's all you need. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Send me your questions in because next week, that's when I will answer your questions. See you guys next week. Bye, guys.